celebration, there should be a time of peace and joy. We condemn these attacks and further threats of violence towards an Eastern Christian. That was Prime Minister Stephen Harper. Now, also, uh, many, many people's uh, thoughts today and during uh, church prayers last night was that, especially violence after even before these attacks, we are to see visited some of these churches to warn them of potential danger after a website posted the names and personal information of about 100 Coptic Christians here in Canada on a site linked to Al-Qaeda that had many people worrying uh, with the bombing a- as well. So some churches hired internal security, others relied on police to patrol uh, the, the churches out- outside, but everything went off smoothly. Many or Coptic Christians saying they're determined not to be intimidated by any threats as they celebrate the Christmas, but their thoughts definitely with their fellow brothers and sisters in Egypt uh, this week. Dan Halton, CBC News, Montreal. Back to Welland, Ontario right now. The Prime Minister is fielding questions from reporters after making an announcement of an, uh, an award program for volunteers. Let's listen in. Um, you know, I think overall, uh, today's numbers are encouraging. Uh, and I think that's been the trend locally for some time now. This is still a, a challenged area, but the unemployment rate has been coming down here across Ontario generally. You know, we now have, if you look at the numbers, we now have over right, something like 460,000 more people than were working at the depth of the recession. We now have more people working in Canada today than were working before the recession took place. We're virtually the only country to do that. So I think that's encouraging news. At the same time, though, we're not under any illusion. Uh, rates, in our judgment, still remain too high. Uh, There are still uh, significant challenges in the global economy and our export markets. We know about those that that threaten the global recovery and threaten our own recovery. So while it's encouraging news, uh, I think it continues to point out to us that we need to continue to focus on the economy. Uh, That's what our government's doing, and that's what we encourage all parties and parliaments to do. Yannick Dumont, Radio Canada. You have a new Minister of the Environment, he's talking about a new strategy to sell the oil sands, uh, ethical oil sands. Can you tell me why your government feels the need to change the way it sells the oil sands project? Well, I can only say that the government's uh, position is clear. The oil sands represent a very important resource for this country. It's a source of economic uh, growth and job growth across the country, not only in the West, but in Ontario and Quebec as well. It's uh, critical to develop uh, these resources, but to do so in a way that's responsible and environmental. And the reality for the United States, which uh, is the most uh, or the largest buyer of uh, of our uh, oil. The reality, as I say, is that Canada is a very ethical society and a very, very secure source of energy for the United States compared to other sources. So that's a major asset that we want to explain to the rest of the world. Hello, Mr. Prime Minister. Um, later today, you'll be having a roundtable meeting. Um, I was just wondering what you'll be discussing there and uh, who you'll be discussing with. Um, the roundtable meeting today, I, first of all, you should just know I hold these meetings across the country uh, regularly. Um, with uh, Today is with uh, mainly with small business uh, leaders from the area. I do roundtables regularly with business people, non-business people, uh, as I cross the country. Obviously, the context of today's uh, consultations is primarily the upcoming federal budget, and um, what the thoughts of the local business community here is about that, about the state of our economy, and also about our priorities going forward. We've indicated, you know, we think that we're, the economy is recovering, but it, uh, there are reasons to be optimistic, but we're also concerned about the fragility of the recovery. I think most people understand the government's uh, stimulus measures are now winding down.
time, so we have to look uh, now at the next phase of the economic action plan, which will be one where we are trying to reduce our deficit, but still aware that we have to make the kind of investments that will encourage economic growth and job creation. So it really will be in that context we'll be having discussions, but whenever, uh, my experience is whenever you have um, uh, roundtable consultations with citizens, they may take it whatever direction, whatever things they want to talk about. So I'll be interested to hear their views. Cheryl Faulkner from the CBC. Mr. Prime Minister, uh, what consideration is being given to setting up a parliamentary intelligence committee? Um, I know... Uh, for some time. Um, I don't think we've, uh, we've yet landed on a particular model that we think would be ideal. Uh, but as you know, uh, I have uh, sworn uh, the leaders of the opposition, other than Mr. Doucette, to the Privy Council this, so they are in a position to receive uh, confidential security uh, briefings, but we are looking at, uh, at broader rates from both parties. Next question to Edward with Mosaic. Um, there's two questions on, on the Ivory Coast. 